I must say I was riveted by your thesis on regressive taxation. How did you arrive at such a scintillating hypothesis? Ooh, looks like this girl Topanga's got it bad for you. <laughs> You've read my mail? Something's got to get me through this war. Well, look who's here. You boys know what you did wrong back there? Yeah, yeah, I know a U-turn. Nope. Called me a goober. <laughs> oh, look at you three. What are you? A beat-up hillbilly. And you? Just give us the candy. Oh, I bet you're a ghost. I'm a marshmallow. Ooh, and a cute one at that. I just want to stick a fork in your belly and roast you over an open flame till you're nice and crispy. Oh, finally. Am I glad to see you. I've been coming by all day since I got your message. Well, I'm sorry it was so demanding, but my husband's out of town and I really need you. Hey, I'm your handyman. <laughs> I have a tarp I could spread on the floor if you think it's going to get messy. That's up to the lonely lady. What are you doing? Ooh. You want me to keep the tool belt on? All right. Uh, attention, everybody. Uh, would you all gather over here, please? We'd like to get started. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Can we have everybody, please? Everyone? <laughs> this is uh, my first homosexual party. <laughs> so I'm not sure how to act. Uh, mind if I sit down, sir? Oh, all these gays in one room? Grace, you must be in hag heaven. Uh, I I'm not gay. Ooh, hooray for my side. <laughs> I'm also a lonely single man with a beautiful home filled with fine things. <laughs> Want something more out of life. Sounds like we're on the same page. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. No. Thank you for coming out. Does he really know more than you, or is that just an act? <laughs> it's just an act. Ooh, it's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I still always think about acting out, but uh, now when I get in the car and take a drive, instead of picking up a hooker, I, uh, I just go to the Krispy Kreme. <laughs> so I'm addicted to Krispy Kreme. And, uh, 40 pounds heavier, and... Even my wife doesn't want to, excuse my French, fuck me. I'm just worried I'm losing your mother. Oh, sweetie, tell that. Let's just have pizza. I gotta tell you though, Johnny, there is a buzz about you in the squad room. You might be more trouble than you're worth. This is also terrible. How, how are the other girls? Uh, I'm not sure. I shouldn't have let Helen drive in that damn rain. Is she, she gonna be okay? Mr. Silman. Do you know the answer? Credit cards aren't working. Um, I'll take that check waiter. No, no, we invited you. Just the other day I was talking to this guy, 40 years old, married, two kids, wants a $50,000 universal life policy. Well, <laughs> I said to him, my friend, you're a smoker, your family has a history of heart disease, and you're in a high-risk occupation. <laughs> I mean, according to my actuarial table, this guy is just an ex- <laughs> Sorry, you know, you get me talking about insurance. I just lose myself. <laughs> yeah. Hey, who doesn't, huh? Yeah. yeah. By the way, what company carries the policy on your plane? You know, I bet their rate on a million dollar comprehensive can't compare to the rate of... I, hey, hey! 